hello guys rd case here so in this video i'm going to talk about how to create a landing page in get response so let's say you need to create a free account with get response you can try this get response for 30 day free trial so you need to enter your email address and enter password here and click on sign up you can find the link in the description to this page so after you click on the sign up button you will ask for more information about yourself and once you have filled this form you will receive an email confirmation from the get response so once you have confirmed your email address you are good to go and you can log into your account by click on this login button once you have click on the login button enter your login information and log into your account so this is the first page you will see once you have log into your account so before you create before you starting to create a landing pages i recommend you to create a campaign first for your landing page so click on this drop down menu and click on create a campaign then you will need to enter a name for your campaign this name must be different for any other campaign so you cannot be enter a name is already exit so i am enter a name so it's not already exit so i can create a campaign with that name so once you have create a campaign then you can add your contact and create newsletter also you can create auto respond as well so also if you are um, need auto respond i recommend you to um, first add it to auto respond messages before you um, going to create your landing page so click on hover over this message in the navigation bar and click on the create auto responder then you need to enter a date to want to start sending this auto responder message zero means the first day after the someone subscribe to your email list so it's depend on the way you want so always keep in mind that zero means is one always added one to this number so which means here is one so even though here is showing zero so then you need to select your campaign and then you need to select the auto responder message so when the time you want to send this message so here is the date that you want to start the campaign after the subscriber subscribe to your channel so this is the campaign starting date so you need to i recommend you to send the first email after immediately once you, once someone subscribe to your email list so leave this immediately and you then you need to choose a message or create a new email which depends on the niche and category you are in so if you are already created messages before and then you can choose messages so also if you don't have message you can create a new email and after you create a new email you will come to this page again and then you will need to enter a um, auto responder name so enter a name for your your reference only so enter a name that you can easily remind the auto responder so once you have enter a name just click on save and publish so then you can go to the landing page creating create page and hover over the landing pages and click on the create then you can choose a template um, what you like here is few categories you can see opt in pages home pages and bunch of others also you can categorize them by most popular or conversion rate i recommend you to choose a template that match your niche very well as example if you are promoting a healthy product you can choose a template like this but you can customize these all templates 100% but it's easy to choose a template that best match for your niche 
then it's easy you to easy to you to customize that template other than building from start but always keep in mind these templates are always 100% customizable also keep in mind that when you are choosing a template to create a landing page so it landing page colors and your sales page colors must match with each other it's completely different it's that not good so keep in mind the colors of your sales page and match those colors with your landing page so choose a landing page that best match for you you can see lot of landing pages here so you can choose the best one for your niche so you can categorize them by most popular conversion rate so i'm going to as example i'm going to choose this landing page it's very simple so once you have choose your landing page click on that one so then your editor will be loaded here it's sometime it can be takes time but okay it's loaded you can see the editors here it's not hard to edit these text and other elements here all you have to do is drag and drop um, like wix and vp so you can edit these text by um, double click on this also you can delete if you want don't want them also if you want more images you can add them like this so you can place these elements anywhere of you want so this is very um, easy editor you don't need any html um, knowledge or any programming language you can also drop any buttons also you want you can place them anywhere also you can choose the view by um, desktop and mobile view it's very important once you have once you have created the desktop view then you you you, you must go to the mobile view and check the the layout is shown here so in most cases cases layout is not showing well here so you need to re-edit this mobile version again so once you have edited this desktop version and mobile version then you can edit the thank you page if you want thank you page you can edit if you don't want this thank you page leave this page like this but don't worry about this we can change this in the um, later when we go to the next step so if you want thank you page you can ed edit this um, what you want like this page so you can um, drag and drop text to buttons and images to here so like the um, this one so also if you want more pages you can edit them by click on this um, icon so it um, completely depends on the marketing funnel you want so once you have created your pages um, very important to look this mobile version as well once you have all once you have created these pages you need to click on this next step so it will take some time to save work and load sometimes it depends on the internet connection you have then you do need to enter a page title for your landing page this page will be this title will be shown in the tab on the mobile web browser so then you, you need to enter a search description for your landing page this is for the search engine side description when you when you can you you know if when some search result display on the google few lines will be displayed under the main heading so this is the text that you want to display is maximum 250 characters so as an example i enter this title for the page and i copy and paste this for the description so you need to enter a very good description here very good must include keyword domains also 
you must include keyword on the page title like as well so also then you can set up your landing page in url settings so this is the url for the your landing page you can select a domain name you like but i recommend you to choose this default option gri.com so then you need to enter a url for your landing page so and also you can set up your own domains by select your own domain so Mm, added new domain is for already added domain you can select the, those domains by mm, click on here also if you don't want to add it here you can do, do this later by login to a domain mm, control panel you can redirect to your domain to this url then it's all mm, should be fine so so if you have option to publish on facebook so once you have published your landing page then it will automatically share on facebook if you are already connected to facebook account so then you need to choose a campaign for your landing page then here is option you to confirm obtain this is for the stopping if spamming um, spam email subscribers so basically what happened when you when you are um, turn on this option before uh, when someone subs uh, enter a name and email address on your landing page before their details go into your email links they will need to confirm their email address and they will receive a email to confirm their email address so once you have confirmed their email address then they will be added to your email list if they didn't confirm their email address they will never be going to your email it so if you want this option you can mm, turn on this but i recommend you to turn off, off this especially if you are new if you are just starting because some people after entering their information some people might not confirm their email address even though they are entered their real email address so that's why it's very important you to turn off this because otherwise some subscribers will not go into your list also you want to select the messages here to message cycle so also that this is very important if you are set up a thank you page you can select before thank you page here also if you didn't want a thank you page that's why i told you in the last step so if you don't want a thank you page then you can enter a custom url so you can enter your affiliate link here so basically then what happen use after user submit their information then they will automatically redirect to the affiliate page so also if you don't want to do anything you can set to stay on current page but i recommend you to choose thank you page or redirector to custom thank you page which means your affiliate link it's not good idea to stay on current page so once you have set up these things the way you want and click on the publish here i am using the free version free trail of the get response so that's why i can't publish more landing pages but when you click publish you are already an um, good person and you you can get the you land the page url like mine here is so then you can um, redirect to your um, top level domain to this url then you can promote that top level um, domain so thank you very much for watching this video if you found any useful information here please like this video and don't forget to subscribe as well so thank you very much see you in the next video